In today's video, I'm going to show you a balanced 4132 that you can download for Football Manager 2023. The subject of today's plug and play tactic testing video is the 4132 Extreme Diamond Under Vault 2. Let's break down some of the positions and show you this tactic. Starting off at the back, you're going to have a sweeper keeper set to defend. You're then going to have a fullback set to support on the left. Two ball playing defenders set to defend in the middle. With another fullback set to support on the right. A defensive midfielder set to support in the middle. On the left hand side an inverted winger set to support. On the right hand side an inverted winger set to support. At the top of the pitch an attacking midfielder set to attack and two advanced forwards both set to attack. So this is the 4132 Extreme Diamond Under Vault 2. Its tactical style is custom the assembler, its mentality is balanced. Show the in possession, it will look like this. Its in transition will look like this. And the out of possession will look like this. So I have downloaded the tactic, I've been putting it through its paces, I've run four single season sims using Tottenham, Middlesbrough, Aberdeen and Inverness Caledonian Thistle. Let's show you some results. We're going to kick off the results in the Premier League looking at Tottenham Hotspur. They have finished in second place and they've qualified for the Champions League. To break down their league campaign, they've played 38 games, they've won 23 drawn seven, lost eight, scored an impressive 102 goals, which was the league high. 53 goals conceded though, left them with 49 as a goal difference and they finished on 76 points. That was 20 though behind Liverpool. They did finish joint on points with Arsenal, but finished above them in terms of goal difference. If we go to the profile page for the Premier League, we can see Harry Kane scored 30 goals, Richarlison scored 20. Kane 7.54 for average ratings, Richarlison 7.45. Mora got 12 assists, as did Richarlison. We had Porro with 17 yellow cards and Perisic got 3.3 in terms of tackles per 90 minutes. If we look at the other competitions they played in. They were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Liverpool in the Champions League. They were knocked out in the fifth round by Everton in the FA Cup. And they were knocked out in the quarterfinal by Middlesbrough in the Carabao Cup. Up next we move on to the championship, we are looking for Middlesbrough and we can see that they are going up as champions. They have won the championship, played in 46 games, winning 36, drawn 7, lost 3, scored a whopping 145 goals, conceded 53, giving them a 92 goal difference and they finished on 115 points, winning the league by nearly 20 points from Norwich who finished in second. Look at the profile page for the league, they had fours with 33 goals, Archer with 24, fours a 7.64 average rating, Archer 7.5, Lenahan 7.29 and Akpalm 7.22, Housen got 22 assists, McNair 21, Fours with 13. They had Archer with eight player of the match awards. Fours with six. Lenahan 14 yellow cards and Giles 14 yellow cards. When we look at the other competitions they played in, they were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Manchester City in the FA Cup and knocked out in the semi-finals by Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. Next up we have moved north of the border to Scotland, we're looking at the Scottish Premiership and we find Aberdeen in second place. They have played 38 games, won 23, drawn 10, lost 5, scored 83, conceded 39, goal difference is 44. They finished on 79 points, which is seven behind Celtic who have won the league, but they have qualified for the Champions League. If we go to the profile page for the SPL, Milovsky got 29 goals, Clarkson 13 assists, they had Duck with six player of the match awards, they had Scales, Hayes and Rabadani featuring in the yellow cards list, they had Shinny with 14.97 kilometres covered per 90 minutes, Hayes with 3.21 tackles per 90 minutes. Look at the other competitions, they played in the Scottish Cup and were knocked out in the semi-finals by Celtic and they were also knocked out in the semi-finals by Celtic in the Premier Sports Cup too. 
finally, moving on to the Scottish Championship, we find Inverness Caledonian Thistle winning the league. They have played 36 games, winning 28, drawing 4, losing 4, scoring 113 goals, conceded 42, goal difference of 71. They finished on 88 points and they finished 26 points clear of Dundee in second place. If we go to the profile page, Mackay got 20 goals, Samuel 17. Mackay 7.53 average rating, McGregor 7.45, Devine 7.42, Doran got 18 assists, so did Henderson, we had Devine on 5 player of the match awards, Carson got 10 yellow cards, Henderson got 4.75 in the dribbles per 90 minutes. If we look at the other competitions, they were knocked out in the third round by Dundee in the Scottish Cup. Knocked out in the second round by Celtic in the Premier Sports Cup. And they won the SPFL Trust Trophy. They won that final 7-1 against Dunfermline. So all in all, an absolutely fantastic tactic where we have got two teams winning their league. The other two teams finishing in the runner-up slot. We also have an SPFL Trust Trophy to go along with it. Right then, if you're with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button to help the channel out, I really do appreciate it. Before you go, don't forget there's other things on the channel, such as Let's Plays, there's Rebuilds, Wonder Kids, Hints, Tips, Tutorials, a bit of something for everybody right here on the channel. But for this one, I'm going to end it there. A big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video soon.